I will make an attempt to explain the authenticated encryption. So uh, the authenticated encryption is when we combine confidentiality and integrity. Uh, so authenticated is from the Mac uh, and it means like we add integrity and encryption is for the confidentiality from the uh, ciphers. Okay. So we know that a passive adversary uh, can, will try to read the cipher text and observe the message, but it will not. Uh, uh, it will not do any. Uh, uh, it will be passive, so it will not do any changing to the message. Um, all right, and the active adversary does not only try to read and understand the message, but also tries to change it and interact with it. So for the passive adversary, we don't care about integrity because the passive uh, attacker doesn't uh, change the message. So we only care about encryption. But for the active adversary, we do care about integrity to verify the message because uh, we have to uh, make sure that the uh, active attacker does not uh, change the message. So authenticated encryption solves this problem by combining both. All right, so, um, uh, okay, just like we said before, uh, we first, for the security uh, of the AE, uh, we have to define a threat model and a security goal. The threat model, uh, in this case, will be the chosen plain text attack. Uh, so the adversary will send many messages to um, to the challenger and the challenger will reply with a cipher text all right and um, so he, he sends the adversary sends mi and he receives ci so we have a uh, we have uh, they're kind of like a pairs mi and ci go together uh, anyway, the security goal is to uh, preserve integrity of the ciphertext. So C is the ciphertext, and we want to preserve the integrity. Okay, so uh, the goal is to preserve the integrity, it means that uh, the adversary cannot find a CI that can be verified, that can be ver verified. So in authenticated encryption, we encrypt, so we have the ciphertext, but we also verify the ciphertext for integrity. So we have confidentiality and integrity. So if the adversary can find a CI, which is not element in the previous CI received, so there, if, if the adversary did not send the MI and did not receive CI, but he can find CI without sending MI. In this case, um, and it can be verified, the CI can be verified. In this case, we did not preserve the integrity. All right. Uh, so uh, this is just a, a picture of uh, how, like, uh, of what I, of the security goal. And it says here that uh, the authenticated encryption that uh, that has uh, encryption and decryption uh, algorithms is secure uh, for all adversaries, efficient. Uh, okay, so the advantage over uh, the advantage of the adversary over the authenticated encryption equals the probability that the challenger. Uh, outputs one so if the challenger outputs one that means the c the ci yani the c the c prime sent to the challenger is verified so if c prime is sent to the challenger and it is decrypted successfully because if the if uh, if it is verified then it will be decrypted and then it will equal to one so if the if the adversary uh, if the adversary uh, uh, gives C prime and it is verified that such that A E is uh, uh, verified and equal to one, then the challenger will output one. So if this happens a lot, 
we will have a big number here. This should not happen. The, the probability that this should happen should be zero. So it should be smaller than epsilon, right? So it is secure if it is smaller than epsilon. Um, okay, so um, here we say that um, some applications require confidentiality and integrity. So we, we want to combine encryption with Mac because as we said before, Mac cares about integrity and encryption adds, uh, adds uh, confidentiality. So uh, doing that may not always be secure. So we have two uh, general approaches. Um, we have the generic uh, uh, authenticated encryption composition. The generic compositions are either encrypt then uh, authenticate or encrypt and authenticate in parallel or authenticate then encrypt so these are the three compositions and for the dedicated the uh, authenticated encryption schemes are the ones based on block cipher and the one on permutation so um, okay so what we use for the mac when we uh, when we want to um, make a composition of authenticated encryption we need to have two keys one key is for the integrity and one key is for the confidentiality for the encryption and they should be independent this is a rule encrypt so this is the rule in cryptography different instance instances of cryptographic primitives within the same crypto system should use independent keys this is what it means it means that if we have cryptographic primitives two of them like in, uh, confidentiality and uh, um, uh, authentic uh, um, integrity these are two different things so they need two different keys this is for the uh, AE compositions generic AE compositions so as I said these are the compositions first encrypt and authenticate this is in parallel authenticate then encrypt or encrypt then authenticate okay uh, so the first composition is to encrypt then authenticate so Alice sends a message then this message is encrypted and authenticated at the same time. So encrypted, producing C, ciphertext, using key 2, and uh, authenticated by producing a tag from the tag algorithm, uh, and then we have a C and T, ciphertext and with uh, concatenated with the tag. Now what happens then? Bob is receiving this, uh, this C and T. So what does he do? First, he decrypts, then, uh, because, you know, here it's, we have to decrypt, then authenticate. No, decrypt and authenticate. Okay, this is in parallel, sorry. Uh, so the ciphertext is decrypted and the tag is verified. It either could be zero or one. So this is done in parallel. Then, uh, if, if it's verified, then accept them okay okay so uh, so in this case we have to decrypt and we have to verify for bob yani bob has to do both all right so um here we have composition two, which is authenticate, then encrypt. So Alice sends a message, M. Then it uh, computes the tag using key two and has a tag. All right. Then after having the tag, it will concatenate uh, with the message. The message will concatenate with the tag and it will be encrypted. So we only have a ciphertext. So the tag is encrypted inside the ciphertext uh, using key two, right? Then Bob will only receive the ciphertext. So Bob must decrypt in order to find the message and the tag. Then it will verify the tag. 
So uh, authenticate, then de encrypt, then we have the opposite. Decrypt, then authenticate for Bob, which is the receiver. All right. So here we also we always have to decrypt. Then we verify for the receiver side. Okay, composition three, we have encrypt, then authenticate. So we have the message, we encrypt it using key two, we have a ciphertext. After we have the ciphertext, we, we use it to produce a tag to authenticate, to produce the tag, okay? So we have encrypt, then authenticate. So what do we uh, guess that Bob will do? He will authenticate, then decrypt. All right. So its composition is encrypt, then authenticate, but the Bob will receive the ciphertext and the tag. So it will be the opposite. He will first verify. And if it's verified, if V equal one, so if this equal to one, then we decrypt. So let's observe this. Uh, scenario if v is zero we do not decrypt right so it must this one it must equal to z uh, to, to one then we decrypt c so in this case we don't decrypt always we only decrypt if it's verified the tag is verified all right we are done with the uh, compositions now we will see which are secure and which are insecure. So uh, for encrypt and authenticate in parallel, uh, the tag may leak information about the plain text. Why? So let's just see. So here it is done in parallel. Okay, so Okay, so we know that the Mac uh, is done to preserve integrity, right? So it doesn't, it assumes that uh, the attacker knows the plain text because they don't care if they know. They just care that they don't change the message. This is for integrity. This is how the Mac was designed. So because of this, uh, uh, they usually assume that the plain text is already known. So we, we will just stick with the, this. We will say it's insecure because the tag may leak information about the plain text. Okay. But it's still supported, but it's insecure. So authenticate, then encrypt, encrypt. Considered insecure because there are many attacks on it. Okay. Uh, then we have the final uh, case, which is the encrypt then authenticate, considered secure. So among the three uh, compositions, which approach is the most efficient? As I said, in the last one, which is the uh, in, encrypt then authenticate encrypt then authenticate uh, it is the mo it is the most efficient because we only decrypt if it is verified so we save a step which is unneeded like the other the other cases we need to decrypt even though it might not be verified so why decrypt so it's a saved step so it is more efficient Okay, now for the uh, next um, approach, which is the dedicated uh, authenticated encryption schemes. Um, okay, so here uh, we encrypt, we accept the key, then produce a ciphertext and the, and the tag, and we decrypt, decrypt, if validated. Ah, okay, so what do we see here? We only have one key. Okay, so it, this means that AE is simpler, more efficient, and more secure. Why? Because uh, it is like uh, it assures confidentiality and integrity.
unlike the Mac, which only was focusing on integrity. And uh, in this case, we uh, also have a, uh, we also have uh, confidentiality. So we have two design approaches. One is based on Plock Cipher, and the second is based on permutation. Okay, so um, here is a block cipher based uh, AE. Um, this one is called Galois counter mode. So we are using the counter mode for encryption. Uh, and for integrity, Wegman, Carter, Mac. Uh, okay, so it's used by the TLS uh, protocol. Uh, and uses a universal hash function g hash or g hash okay so uh, it does its block cipher then produces the encrypted uh, plain text see then it's also hashed then XORed with uh, uh, encryption encrypted uh, key okay and this produces the tag so what is the input to the hash function? It is C, all the Cs, and then the associated data, and uh, the length of the associated data, and the length of the uh, C. So what is the associated data? This associated data is the data that we do not want to encrypt. It's like the header, which we use for networking and you know, so it does not need to be uh, it does not need to be um, uh, uh, hidden. It does not need to be um, encrypted. So as you see, it is not encrypted. Then we take the length of AD and the length of C and hash. Okay. So um, it takes these inputs. The associated data is the data we need it to be integrated and. We, did, we need it to be integ integrated, <laughs> integral, uh, it cannot be changed, this, this is our goal, but it can be known, it's fine, it's just the header, it's not the actual text, and there is no attacks on this system. And here you can see the counter, so this the IV is changing, this is fixed, the IV is fixed, but it's changing due to the counter. So it's encrypted uh, with the counter mode. Uh, here are other examples. We say that the OCB is a good design, but uh, it is uh, patented, uh, which is why it is not popular. And uh, counter with CBC Mac, it's patent free, but also, but this one I guess is the most popular, EAX. Or this one also uses a counter mode. And for OMAC, we did not discuss this, but these are patent free. Okay, now based on permutation. Um, so here we have the encryption and decry uh, sorry, encryption and integrity per excuse me, preserved in one step. So in this case, we only use one key. And we observe one difference to the previous uh, permutation uh, is that we have C0, C1, Cn. This is encryption of the text. And we have a key. And the nouns. Okay. And we have a tag, which is the last. Okay, this is a competition. It was uh, a competition in 2012 and concluded in 2019. And uh, it had 24 submissions, but only uh, six were um, chosen. Uh, so for lightweight applications, ASCON and ACRON, and ACORN, this is for, like, it can be used for AI. And the uh, high-performance application, which is in the middle, like efficient, it's 
going for lightweight but also it's good in uh, it's deep in the security so it's in the middle uh, a e g i s and o c b but this one focuses mostly on the security calm and deoxys too uh, but it may not be as uh, lightweight and more energy consuming okay so the a e a d authenticated encryption with associated data like i mentioned before we have the header this is the associated data and this is the message which is uh, uh, wanted to be encrypted but integrity is preserved for all all right so um, so this is what uh, authenticated encryption with associated data is um, if it supports associated data that means it only encrypts the payload and leaves the header So it allows for routing. And this